but I think there will be interest rate rises. Then the question is, what's the impact of that on property? And this is where I personally find the debate massively simplistic. Um, and, and the reason it is, is because only some properties have a lot of debt on them. Yep. And actually about half, you know, Australia now has $9.4 trillion in residential property as an asset class. Roughly half of the value of that has absolutely no debt on it at all. These are people who fully paid off their homes. Um, and so they are precisely completely indifferent to interest rate rises, at least in terms of how it impacts uh, their home and, and, and their situation. At, at the other end of the spectrum for new home buyers, who might have you know 80 or 85 percent debt on their homes and often have borrowed as much as they can possibly afford to repay the the risk is that even a modest rise in interest rates will have a material effect on on those people and therefore potentially cause more trouble in those sectors of the housing market but um the the sort of simplistic analysis it's pretty widely reported in the media <laughs> that um um, that there's all this extra debt and therefore the whole property market's going to tank. Um, you know, if you look at the history of interest rate rises for the last 100 years in Australia and you look at uh, the history of property prices, um, it's not a simple correlation. Um, it's just not. And because there's a whole bunch of factors involved. So, um, you know, it's, I guess we're doing a lot of work right now to segment the property market. And, and look at which segments of the market are highly exposed to interest rates and which ones are not. Um, and, and the bulk of them are not.